Hi, my name is Robert Bock. I work for Advinis and today I'd like to show you a bit on TOX. TOX in combination with Molecule to test Ansible stuff. It's getting more and more abstract of course, but uh, let me briefly go over what's here. So I have a role, an Ansible role, nothing special, it's quite stable, uh, so I'm pretty sure that Molecule, molecule test would work. Um, I'm also pretty sure that I can introduce a few different distributions, like images uh, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Molecule Test. That will spin up an Ubuntu uh, instance instead of the default, which is Fedora, and tests everything. So that works, nothing special there. And now the next step is Tox. So what if you want to test if your role can run on different versions of Ansible? Uh, over a longer period of time, more and more changes come into Ansible as a software framework. Uh, so how do you test these different versions? And this is where Tox is really, really convenient. Uh, in order to have Tox, by the way, it's pip install Tox, and you'll get Tox. And to use Tox, uh, simply hit Tox, by the way. But let's have a look at the configuration of Tox, because that's where it's more interesting. Um, so you have an env list. Uh, this is what tests, what runs. Python 3.9-ansible-2.9, 2.10, 2.11. And these are references to a list below. And that list is defined here. So 2.9, if you want to do that, you should install ansible 2.9. something. Great. Ansible 2.10, that's where ansible minus base was introduced. So Give me ansible minus base 2.10. Dot anything. And the same for the last one, 2.11. That's when it switched from base to core. Give me core 2.11. So in the future, uh, this uh, will, will depart. So we'll leave uh, 2.9 and we'll probably have a pattern more like this 12, 13, and 12, and 13. And of course, then you need to update this header to here. So not going to do that. We're at this, this stage. Uh, so install these things, but also Molecule and Docker and Ansible Lint and so on. Tox will run Molecule test. And that's about it. Nothing spe special about it. Here's a few tricks to give it some color and uh, make the output a bit nicer. Uh, but what we're missing now is that image and tag and so on. And those are passed somewhere near the bottom. So in this case, we're passing namespace, image, tag, and Docker host. Those are available. So if you run Tox from your laptop or desktop or so, the variables that you set or use here are applicable and use, usable in Tox itself. So if you now run Tox, uh, it spins up uh, in sequence 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, and will test them all. And that's quite strong. Eh? So you've got sort of a matrix or a, 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 an, a, yeah, an Excel sheet basically with the different distributions, so Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, CentOS, Alpine, Amazon Linux, OpenSUSE. And in each distribution, Ansible 2.9, 2.10 and 2.11 are tested. So that's really useful. The tests do get longer and longer, of course. So that's a bit of a drawback. Uh, but the benefit, if it's green, it will probably work. It's quite uh, stable in that case. Eh? I think with all the changes coming to Ansible, so Ansible 2.9, Ansible minus base to 10, Ansible minus core to 11, um, it's probably a good moment to really try your roles on all these different environments. I did see a few cases where I needed to change the code a bit, the Ansible code, in order to make it work on all the three platforms. And actually, what I needed to change was a bit hacky anyway, uh, but I didn't know that, and with the CI and the automatic tests, I got to know that. So it's it's really useful to do that. Um, that's it. Is there anything else? No. Good luck with Tox. I hope you could use it for your situation, and it gives some benefits to you. See you next time.